Let's talk about hydroponic cucumber nutrient solution. One common vine crop grown among farmers is the cucumber plant. They are loved for their juicy delicious fruits produced. Hydroponics cucumber can be grown successfully in a greenhouse. They are pretty easy to cultivate and they will yield fast and great results. The nutrient requirements for cucumber are crucial as this will supply and cover the important phases of the cucumber plant as they grow. Watch on to learn about how to start cucumber hydroponics and the hydroponic cucumber nutrient solution requirements. Select the variety of your choice. Cucumbers come in three major varieties namely pickling, slicing, and seedless. Of these three varieties, you can decide to choose any one you wish. However, we recommend you select the variety based on your preference or purpose. Choose if you want to cultivate cucumber for pickling or slicing. You should also select the variety based on your hydroponic setup. There are also resistant cucumber varieties which are an excellent choice. Note that these varieties can come in various shapes, sizes, and maturation length of time. Let's take a look at some of the cucumber varieties. Burpless, this type of cucumber variety tastes more delicious. They are also thin-skinned. Spineless, this type does not have a spine or any prickly stubs. They are also smooth-skinned. Bitter-free, most cucumbers are known to taste bitter when ignored and left for a long time on the vine. However, this type of cucumber variety is made to be bitter-free. Gynetious cucumber, this type gives rise to female flowers. They don't require pollination to produce their fruits. Therefore, they do not contain seeds. They are more resistant to disease and their yield is amazing. In hydroponic cucumber, this type of variety is mostly preferred. Hydroponic cucumber nutrient solution. Materials needed. Plastic container, expanded clay, net pots, and hydroponic cucumber nutrient solution. Starting hydroponic cucumber. Started hydroponic cucumber in three ways, and they are. Seed germination. Start with cucumber seed germination. The seeds will germinate quickly and you start to notice seedlings within 3 to 10 days. Dirt transplant. You can as well transplant cucumber plants from dirt or soil. You can purchase some cucumber plants from a garden store near you and transplant them into your hydroponics. Cloning. Start hydroponic cucumber with cloning as this is another great method. You can be assured of getting results of the same features or traits being cloned with cloning. Type of hydroponic system to choose. You need to decide which type of hydroponic will suit your cucumber. The variety is also important when choosing the type of hydroponic for your cucumber plant. Indoor hydroponics will require space. But if you don't have much space you can go for the bushy cucumber variety. You can go for the deep water culture or ebb and flow system for indoor hydroponics. We would however recommend you grow cucumber outdoors. This way, they can have adequate space and there will be space to produce more yield. You can make use of vertical hydroponics by training them to grow vertically. You can also opt for the drip system, Dutch bucket system, and bug ebb and flow system. Use trellis for support when your cucumber plants start to grow big. Hydroponic Cucumber Nutrient Solution Requirements Hydroponic cucumber requires a specific nutrient scheme. This is especially meant for their vegetative development. You can easily purchase these nutrient solutions online as they are readily available. There are some nutrient solutions readily available to usher your cucumber plant into its flowering stage. Other nutrient solutions are also available to gear your cucumber plant throughout its flowering stage. Note for the flowering stage, you are required to change your nutrient scheme to lesser nitrogen. Also, add more potassium and phosphorus. The one type general nutrient scheme may be simple to use. But know that they may not provide your cucumber plants the required nutrients tailored for the specific growth phase. Also, the nutrient solution should have the following features. Nutrient pH, the pH should range from 5.0 to 6.0. Temperature, cucumber plants will thrive well with temperatures ranging from 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 
This temperature range will encourage and boost the growth of your cucumber plant. So, your cucumber should be ready after 5 to 6 weeks after seed sowing. What nutrients do hydroponic cucumbers need? The term hydroponic cucumber refers to the fact that you do not have to provide any soil or manure for the plants to grow in. Instead, you supply the plant with a nutrient solution that they will absorb through their roots. Hydroponic cucumbers are grown in small plastic trays that are placed on top of a water source. This is done because the water is recirculated, which prevents the growth of algae and other bacteria that could grow in soil-based cucumbers. The nutrient solution provides all the minerals and nutrients that the cucumber needs to grow. The nutrients that are used in hydroponic cucumber growing are called macro and micronutrients. Macronutrients are nutrients that are needed by the plant to grow. They include nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, boron, zinc, copper, manganese and iron. These nutrients are not as available in the soil as they are in the water. Micronutrients are nutrients that are needed by the plant to grow but are not part of the macronutrients. They include chlorine, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum and zinc. What is the best nutrient solution for hydroponics? There are many nutrient solutions available to growers for hydroponics. However, most of these are not as efficient as they should be. There are many factors to consider when choosing a hydroponic nutrient solution, such as Sugar content The sugar content of the nutrient solution is very important, especially for those with high-intensity light. If the sugar content is too high, it can have an effect on photosynthesis and transpiration rates in plants. It can also have a negative effect on plant growth and development. Too low of a sugar content can result in low photosynthetic rates, plant stress, and even death. The best solution would have about 5 to 10% sugar. Magnesium per liter, magnesium is necessary for healthy cell division and chlorophyll production in plants. It is also beneficial for root hair growth. It is also essential to reduce the amount of calcium in the soil. Calcium per liter, calcium is an essential mineral that is needed by plants for optimal health. Calcium is the main component of cell walls, which helps with the strength and integrity of the plant. Calcium also helps promote strong cell walls, which will help the plant grow faster and thicker. Potassium per liter, potassium is a vital element for plant growth and development. It is required for the formation of carbohydrates and proteins, as well as maintaining the cellular membrane. Potassium is also essential to prevent plants from becoming salt sensitive. Sulfate per liter. Sulfate is an important nutrient for plants that is necessary for healthy cell division, chlorophyll production, and root hair growth. It is also essential for healthy plant growth and development. A good sulfate per liter ratio is around the pH level of the nutrient solution is extremely important. A proper pH level is required for plants to properly absorb nutrients. Osmolarity Osmolarity is a measure of the amount of dissolved solids in a solution. This number is used as a measure of the osmotic pressure of the solution. Osmolarity can be measured with an osmometer. It is important to keep the osmolarity of the nutrient solution at around 300 to 400 osmometer. This will help prevent the accumulation of excess salts and minerals in the soil or nutrient solution, which can be detrimental to plant growth. Dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen is one of the most important elements to consider when creating a nutrient solution for hydroponics. Too much oxygen can cause plant stress, and too little oxygen can cause plant death. A good dissolved oxygen level is around 7 to 10 magnesium per liter. Final note. With that said, we hope you've learned some things about growing cucumber hydroponically. Ensure you follow all our tips on hydroponic cucumber nutrient solution. Happy growing! If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.